and if you're on today, be looking at the Voyager class Rise of the Beast Nightburn. So this might be my first deluxe class. I'm not sure. I ever got uh, every single toy, every single uh, class I got from every figure. But yeah, uh, before we open this figure, I'll show you guys a little bit of a funny story. So let's go back with that first. So there was kind of a garage sale or a flea market. And I got this toy. This this leader. Oh, hold up. Let me just bump out. This guy is huge. The original figure. I'm not sure if this is original or not. It does have the logo. And he does have just the normal thing. Sadly, it didn't came with any accessories. That, but that's okay still. And he's able to transform. No, no paint. Shh. No paint chipping or anything. But yeah, he's actually kind of posable and he's transformable. If you if you have seen the original toy. But enough of this right here. This is not what we want to see. This is this even though this guy is so cool, good. What we came here to see is Nightbird. Here we have the Lux class uh Nightbird. And she's kind of very he's very small compared to uh some of my figures like just for example hold up these are supposed to be lift up to hold their pose a little better but for example we have the armada and he's very she is very small compared to armada let's put that back on the way but yeah let's see the posability on this figure let me just fix the oh dang it wait let me just fix hold up there, let's lift this down. Okay, now let's see the posability on this figure. So here's her posability. So we have the swivel it's on the ball joint, so it goes up or down. And this arm goes all the way it's on the ball joint as well, so it goes up, goes down, has, and can go all the way around. Yeah, the swivel here. No hand articulation. Has a elbow here. And now he has a slightly toe bend, if you want to count that. A decent, a decent spread. Well, actually, a nice spread. And a bend. And what a, a nice and beautiful pivot. The second thing is transfer is still. This, this character is. Oh, by the way. Side note, the figure came back was like this, and it kind of looked ugly, so so if you want to make it just a little bit more cleaner, just lift this up, and it'll just, just a little bit more cleaner. But now, on to her accessories. So, she comes with, actually, no gun. Well, obviously, comes with a, a beautiful sculpted and painted a sword, if you can see it. And this claw thing, I'm not sure if uh, this thing was in the movie. Well, maybe, see, yeah, it is. But when she, when she has both of these, uh, what, both of these weapons, her sword looks like a machete. And her claw, I don't know what to call it, her claw hand, just tabs right in that hole. Wait, oh, oh my god. Just plug in there. Oh, on my copy out of the box, these were split out. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. But those were split out. One out of my copy. Let me just plug, plug that in there and place in there. Overall, she she has some okay art or uh, 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 accessories. More of this. And this. Subscribe, like, and I hope you have a good day. And a peace. Whoa!